Okay guys, so um, let's just jump right into it. This is my KISS overview. I am running firmware RC30 and a few people have asked me about that. Um, these are my PID values, so I'll just talk a little bit about the philosophy I have is that um, you want your PE and I gains to be moderately high. Um, obviously you want your D gains to be as low as possible. Um, the one thing I will say about the D gain value is um, I know a few people are running really high D gains in the in the 20s. Um, I would say that if you have anything more than 16, it's it's probably going to cause some inadvertent um, vibration issues or heating problems with your motors. So just be wary of that. Obviously, those PID values are going to differ from environment to environment, from quad to quad. So, but that's just something I found is that if I go over more than 16, it's just going to react weird. So. That's kind of a tip, I guess, if you're having issues, check your D gains and drop your P gains down to compensate for a lower D gain. Um, I guess moving on, RC rate, rate, and RC curve. So this has kind of been a really hot topic for the last few months. Um, my philosophy on this part of it is that I want a higher RC rate with a little bit of curve built in. The reason for that is I don't want my quad to feel robotic. This is predictable to me. Um, so, having a higher RC rate is going to give you that, uh, I think, a linear curve. Um, and then the RC curve is going to build in that smushiness around the stick. So, uh, full deflection is going to give you full deflection, but if you move it slightly in the middle, it's not going to react as, as drastically as if you had zero RC curve. All that being said, I generally think that uh, peop for, for the majority of people, people who fly with thumbs, need some type of expo built in, need some type of RC curve built in because your thumbs aren't as precise as if you're pinching. So all that being said, that's a personal preference. I know people who have flown uh, thumbs with zero RC curve and they fly smooth cell. So this is just a personal setting. Um, hopefully it helps you. Uh, if anything, you can use it as a reference point to figure out what is your particular personal settings, um, what is optimized for you, I'm a firm believer in that, is that figure out what's optimized for you because it needs to be, the quad needs to react predictable to you. Um, so these are my settings on that. Uh, moving on, I am using an idle up switch. I do not have uh, air mode active. I, I really use an idle up switch, the old way of doing it in beta flight. I think Joshua Bartle has a video over this, so just look at his channel if you're trying to figure out how to do an air mode setting. Or not in a mode auto upsetting. Filter is set to high. Um, I do have adaptive uh, filtering enabled. This is awesome. I think this has solved a lot of issues with uh, vibrations and such. Um, Bell filter set to 35. I think this is the fault. Uh, it's nothing. Um, as you can see, Really nothing crazy going on here. I know a lot of people have said I have crazy rates, um, but you know my yaw is around the 900, my uh, roll and pitch are around 1200, so nothing abnormal there. These are just simulated values, but again, there's nothing crazy going on there. I don't use custom TPA. Um, I have my TPA set to 43 on my P gains. These two are default. I haven't any issues yet. so. All in all, this is kind of my settings. Uh, hopefully it helps somebody. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.